Hello guys! In this video, I am going to share to you my little experiment about biogas digester. So, this biogas digester is very small, 7 liter uh, in volume. So, actually, this is just a container of inoculant that I've gathered in, in Fanta Quezon. So, as I've seen the container, it's transparent, so it gives me the idea that I can I can see what's going on inside the biogas digester. So what I did is I've added it with hose and then small uh, biogas container. So in that way, I can see how the biogas digester works close up because we can or I can see what's inside or what's happening inside the biogas digester. Of course, biogas digester are sealed. So there's no way to tell what's going on inside. But in this case, this experiment, since the container is transparent, we can see what's inside, what's going on inside. So this is uh, an opportunity for us to see uh, biogas in action. So I am also going to share to you how I've created this uh, simple biogas digester. It is simple and very small. So, I'm going to share it to you. So, this was the time that we collected the inoculant. Actually, the inoculant is kaupu. <laughs> According to the article that I have read, it says that methanogen cannot survive in uh, environment with oxygen in it. Example, open air. So that is the reason why that I've collected a fresh cow dung. By the way, uh, methanogens are single-celled microorganism uh, similar to bacteria. So methanogens are responsible for the production of methane so they eat up or take up uh, organic matter and then convert it into uh, methane <laughs> so the reason for choosing uh, fresh cow dung that means to say that uh, it is not yet exposed to uh, oxygen or air unlike for uh, collecting old cow dung which is already dried up uh, it must be exposed to air and means to say it's all a uh, small amount of methanogens are left <laughs> Kalahati na ba
I collected almost 7 liter of inoculant. So that is the cow dung mixed with water. In this part, I am going to drill to make a hole on the cap. So, it should be uh, connect, connected to the hose. Luckily, I remember that this container is sealed and it has already built up some fair amount of pressure because of the biogas produced inside. So, if I accidentally created the hole and forget about it, uh, it will suddenly boil boil out the whole slurry will boil out and it gush out just like the what will happen when you mix or when you put mentos candy on any uh, carbonated drinks so luckily I remember that's why I release the pressure first gradually as you can see uh, the volume of the slurry increases as I uh, release the or as I open the cup gradually releasing the pressure so it needs to be gradual depressurization to avoid uh, overflowing
Look, I smell. It must be this. Oops. So every time you open a biogas digester, of course you will always smell the. Uh, it's like a, a fart. It smells like a fart. So it's different from human fart, but if you have gone to a farm you can always easily uh, distinguish that it smells like you're in the farm so that's the smell but if the digester is uh, closed you can smell anything except if your digester has a leak on it so you will smell some uh, funny funny smelling fart so that's the uh, one way to determine if there is a leak of your digester but if you can smell anything then your digester is not leaking So as I have tested the collected biogas, it doesn't burn very well. So I'm thinking that there is some mixed air inside as I open the biogas digester yesterday. So I will be testing it again later afternoon if I have enough collection of gas. So this is the close-up look of what's going on inside the digester so as you can see the slurry is bubbling out with the trapped biogas in it so as i've shaken the digester so the the gas or the biogas is now separating from the liquid so after seven hours uh, i have already collected about one liter of biogas in this small uh, digester experiment so we're going to test if we have collected methane in it or if it's still the same from the testing that we made uh, this morning so let's try So first, uh, we will add weight on the bottle so that we will have pressure so that the gas may continue to 
get out from the battle. So, we have now collected biogas. So, the biogas has high methane content. Uh, I added small metal weights on my gas container so that it will uh, sink and it will continuously push the gas inside of it. So, unlike my testing last or just this morning, I didn't use uh, weight. So, I have to manually push the uh, uh, gas, gas container. So, that's it guys. Size really doesn't matter in biogas digester. So, even if we have a very small digester, it can still produce biogas. Hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Bye!